What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable, and welcome to my channel, Curls of a CPA, where I take you on my perfectly imperfect journey. And today, I'm going to be using the Pattern Detangling Nectar to pre-poo my hair. Now, I have used this before. I used it to take my faux locks out, but I only really put it on my roots, and other than my roots having like product buildup on it, my hair wasn't super tangled. And so I'm gonna put it to the test because my hair is very dry and it's very tangled right now. The dope thing about this product is it can be used in many ways. It can be a rinse out product. It can be a leave-in product. I saw some people styling with it. I saw someone restyle their hair with it. And so I'll probably eventually try it like that in the future, especially now that it's getting colder and this has glycerin and aloe vera in like the top three ingredients. I I feel like this would work well under maybe like their twisting cream or something like that, or maybe even the custard. That might be too much moisture, but you know, we'll see. Either way, today we just pre in. That's all we doing today. Per usual, I'll put a link down below for where you can get this. Sometimes it's sold out on Pattern's website, so I'm gonna put down all the places they sell it, just in case you gotta shop around, you feel me? But that is enough talking. It is time to get into this pre poo session. Get this party started. All right, and so this is what my hair is looking like this is like day seven hair my hair is crispy it has been through all the things and so it's just ready for some hydration and detangling I'm actually prepping to film my Trey Lux video and I want that process to go by quickly so I'm gonna just thoroughly detangle first I'm not prepared I don't have no clips or nothing Jesus I had to move some stuff around change the memory card and I'm back it is currently 2.33. My goal is to be done detangling at three o'clock. Let's go. And I just spray water all over to get some clean sections. I find that my pre pouring process goes like quicker when I have good sections. Y'all, I feel like my hair is getting thicker. Like, I don't know. I know it's longer, but it just feels like a lot, like from my roots. These roots is feeling real thick. I'm gonna take some of the product and actually just put it my roots so that I could get through this joint. <sighs> wow, that's good. It's really slippery. It's like instantly, instantly slippery. I'm gonna try it on the section first without saturating it with water. See how it feels and then add water after. My hair is looking like before. Yeah. It's slippery even when my hair is not soaking wet. That's a really good sign. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so I'm going to apply some water. Yeah. Water definitely adds some goodness. And I've used a couple of pre-poos on my channel. And so if you guys wanna see me compare this to any other pre-poo, let me know down in the comments and I'll try to work that out for y'all. And I'm showing you guys in real time how long it's taking me to detangle. Y'all already know I'm tender headed, so I take my time when I come up on a knot. I move my brush, then I come back through. My roots were really tangled and so I ended up adding some extra product to it and just adding that just one more pump of the product really helped. And I used three three pumps in the sections in the back and then in the front section, I used two pumps. Since the front of my hair, the density is less. I don't need as much product, but in the back and the middle, yes. Yes, we needed all the products, okay? Took care of my roots with the quickness. Okay, so here's what I will say. This is very slippery. Like, it's so slippery. I was able to like detangle that section so fast. It doesn't weigh the hair down. Um, just putting that out there, like if you're deciding to like style with it, I don't think it lays the hair down, at least not my hair. The back of my hair is kind of, you know, it's looser, so it is laid, but my hair feels amazing. It feels so good. So I'm well pleased this passes the pre-poo test. There's no stickiness at all, which I absolutely love. Yeah, and I like it. I think many hair types characteristics will enjoy this product. I just feel like if your hair is a lot more tangled, if it's a lot drier, um, if your hair is a little coarser, then you'll probably just have to use more product, more water to get more slippage. But that was easy, so I'm gonna continue. I've talked a lot, so we're at 2.45, okay? Let's see if we can finish the rest of my head in 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna do for the rest of the sections, I'm gonna spray it with the water bottle 
work the water in very well and kind of finger detangle. Then I'm gonna add a generous amount of the product, rub it all in, work that thing in, finger detangle as well. Make sure you get your roots, okay? Make sure you work the product into your roots. And even just from changing up the application to adding the water first, that has definitely increased the slip. And also I feel like my hair is getting a little bit more like way down. I can see the curls like popping and all that stuff as I'm finger detangling. I mean, look at the difference. And this is probably the coarsest section of my hair. And as you can see, it kind of looks better than the back. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely like that wet application better. And I'm also detangling this section in real time as well, just so that you guys can compare the front and the back to see if you notice a difference. I personally noticed a difference and the middle also had more hair in it. And because the slip was better in the section, I was able to do a better job finger detangling. And so then I didn't have to work as hard with my brush. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Stop playing. Look at that. Boom. Get into it. <laughs> Get into it! Yes, okay, so it still doesn't weigh your curls down like the pattern mask does, but that's okay. It's not like a thick gel. I decided to twist my hair. I wanna see what my hair looks like <laughs> when I take the twist down at the end. These people are styling with it. I'm like, hmm, I wonder how it will look. Mm. And now that we got my first impressions out of the way, let me tell you a little bit more about the product because I'm sure some of you will be interested in the tea. And the pattern detangling nectar was formulated for curlies, coilies, and tight textures. Typically when pattern says that, they mean that everybody can use it, okay? And the key ingredients are sea moss, aloe vera, and grapeseed oil and it's supposed to leave your hair shiny, hydrated, smooth, and defined. The directions say to apply it to wet or dry hair in sections and to apply the product on each section from roots to ends. And you can even spray your section with the hydrating mist before applying it. But of course I'm using water. Now this product can be used in a couple of ways. It can be used as a leave-in conditioner on freshly washed hair. Also you can use it to refresh your styles if you're extending wash day. And this is paraben free, sulfate free, gluten free, phthalate free, formaldehyde free and vegan. It doesn't say that it is free from silicones, but I also don't see any silicones in the ingredients. Voice over of voice over stable hair, y'all. My hair was so tangled in this section. I could not even continue the voiceover because I had to address it. Now, when this happens, I alternate between finger detangling and using the brush. If there is a physical knot that I feel, I take it out, you know, manually, okay? I'm not the person who like, cuts it out, that's not my ministry. And then what I did after I felt like I got it detangled well, I went in with my tangle teaser just to make sure, since the tangle teaser has smaller teeth, it's like the true test, but let's get back to it. Um, now I did already mention the key ingredients, which were sea moss, aloe vera, and grapeseed oil, but the first two ingredients are water and glycerin. And so I'm expecting this product to give me a lot of hydration and also slip, because usually when you put glycerin and aloe together, it is a slippery situation. It's three o'clock. <laughs> Boo! Okay. All right, if I wasn't talking, I would have been able to finish, but let's see how long it takes me to finish the two sections. If you're using it as a pre-poo like I am, I really suggest trying it both ways. I don't know, sometimes you'll find that some products you like it better on dry hair, some products you like it better on wet hair. So I recommend you experimenting, however, me, I tried it both ways and I prefer it with wet hair. I was able to use less product when my hair was wetter, which is good because this product is $25, okay. <laughs> and then also I was able to move faster as well. So yes, so wet application for me. All right, I am done. Let's see what time it is. It's 3.08. So I mean, I feel like I did it. I feel like I did it in the allotted time. I basically did eight minutes of talking <laughs> so I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for like a couple of minutes. I just need to go put another load of laundry in and then I'll come back, take the twist down and then we will rinse. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I've had this in my hair for about 15 minutes. Let's see what we're working with. Ooh, hair is really soft. I'm gonna take the twist down so we can see what it's looking like. It's so pleasant. <laughs> it feels really good. I mean, I could see how people can use this like as like a leave-in or like to refresh their hair because it's not as thick as like most pre-poos. So I could see it. 
I could see that. I'm also finger detangling. Um, since my parts weren't super neat, I feel like there are like maybe tangles hiding between the parts. So I'm just making sure we're good to go. Okay, ooh. Uh, okay, my hair feels amazing. Yes! Yes! <laughs> the moisture has been restored. Ugh. So I saw um, Happy Curl, Happy Girl. She did a wash and go using this and I see the vision. I see the vision. At first I was like, I feel like it won't work on my hair cause her curls are like looser than mine. Her And she's just a pro at the wash and go, okay? Oh, but like, I feel like my hair has a good foundation for a wash and go. It's just that mama didn't raise no fool and I'm not doing nobody's wash and go on my untrimmed hair. It's just not gonna happen. Um, so I'm gonna rinse this out and we'll see how it feels. Okay, right now it feels really good, but because the product is so lightweight, I'm thinking when I rinse it out, it just will feel like nothing. So we'll see what happens. I'll be back. <laughs> Yo, first of all, I'm wetting up my whole bathroom just to prove a point. My hair feels really good. Yeah, I approve. I definitely approve. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Hair feels really good. It feels very hydrated. Okay. Let me just put my hair up to give my final thoughts. <laughs> All right, so I absolutely love this detangling nectar. Oh my goodness, it is a really good detangler. I feel like if you have children, this will be perfect for you guys. I know sometimes wash day can be a little challenge for the parents, okay? Especially if your child is tender-headed. And I feel like starting wash day off with this or maybe using this in your styling session or whatever would be great. The dope thing about this is it can be left in your hair. So yo, you could break wash day up, you could put this in, detangle at night, wash the hair the next day or the next day or the next day, because this also provides some moisture as well. So, you know, Tracy and them been, they've been hitting the nail on the head. I know I am a pattern stan, but y'all can see, like I can't lie about something working for me because you can see that it's working and I absolutely love this. I will use these for the days where I need to do a quick pre-poo session and I need to restore some moisture, but it just feels really good. My hair feels great. I have no complaints. The only complaint I have is that it's $25. <laughs> but I have two. <laughs> can you can you believe it? I have two of these. Yeah. So I'll put the links down below. And as I mentioned before, using my links helps support my channel. If you're interested in buying it, just use my link and get it. You don't have to buy it unless you really want it. Okay. Um. So. <laughs> oh, dang. My floor is really wet. But anyway, I'm gonna go finish my wash day. Fire, get it, you need it, the slip is amazing. The next time I use it, I'll probably try it as like a leave-in conditioner and then refresh with it and see, you know, how I like it. Um, but I feel like just from pre pooing with it, I know I'm gonna like it. So let me know down below if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions. I hope you enjoyed this quick pre-poo session. I'll make sure to put on the screen my pre-poo detangling, refreshing pray playlist. <laughs> playlist up here and then I'll put my last video down here so you can check that out and until next time don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'm sending you peace love and good wash day vibes bye guys see you in the next one